Let's see if we can win Dylan a million dollars playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Kids Edition for segment number five. By your hey kid, it's Regis. How about letting us know what to call you? Cool, oh, thanks. Okay, let's play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Take a look at your first question. All right. First question is for a hundred dollars. If someone tells you to use your noodle, you're being told to think. B is not only a decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. Smooth move, you got it. Very cool, you're off to a great start. Here's question number two coming at you. In the animated movie Peter Pan, who's Captain Hook, a pirate. For real? Is that your final answer? B is not only a decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. You are wicked right. <laughs> Two hundred big ones. Hey, another hundred is just one kid question away. Take a look. Okay. What vehicle was nicknamed a horseless carriage? All right, let's uh, ask. No, let's start over. I meant to. I just picked the wrong answer, so Are let's start over. I hey, meant to it's Regis. What's the press the lifeline. Terrific. Now on to the hot seat. Let's get going here with your first question of the game. So my mom's text message threw me off track, so let's continue. Where would you most find likely find an iceberg? Ocean. Let's finish You're the game. Let's is finish styling. this game. Okay. Smooth move, you got it. Very cool. You're off to a great start. Here's question number two coming at you. Uh, Pastor B. Is that like totally your final answer? Going with answer B for sure? Okay. You are wicked right. You're two for two, but those questions were nothing. Your $300 question is bound to be a little bit harder. Enter nursery rhyme, Old King Cole was a merry old soul. A. Jumping right in on answer A. Fine. You are wicked right. That's 300 bucks and a chance at 500. Let's roll. Lex Luthor is the longtime enemy of what comic book hero? Superman. Quick to press answer A. All right. Nice job, kid. You're right. That was the bomb. You know what I mean. Anyway, here's another question worth $1,000. 
Double Touch is a version of what game? Hopsc- not Hopscotch, uh, Jump Rope. Hey, Ed's a D looks pretty fly to you, doesn't it? Got it. Nice going, you're right. Sorry, that text message threw me off track, so. One thousand no dollars in the bank. This time. You've got just ten questions left until we add a lot more zeros to that number. In the book through the Louis Looking Glass, how are Tweedledee and Tweedledum related? They're brothers. C. Final answer. Ready to commit to answer C already? Good. Hey, you're right. Excellent. I don't now believe you. You know what number that hot seat is showing? Question. Three. Which of these U.S. colleges is not made up of students and professors? Electoral College. Final answer. You're thinking C is styling. Okay. Smooth move, you got it. Eight more. You're booming along right now, but we've got eight more chances to stump you before you walk away as a kid millionaire. Cathedral of Notre Dame is located in what city? Paris. Final answer. Is that really your final answer? Jumping right in on answer A. Fine. Nice going, you're right. You really know what's what, don't you? And you're more than halfway there. Let's get back to the action with your $16,000 question. Which of these scenarios involving a car is an example of kinetic injury, energy? Uh, moving on a flat street, final answer. Answer B is it, fine. Cool, that's right. You're just one measly question away from winning $32,000 and another safe haven. No pressure, huh, kid? In March 2001, Russia's Mir space station dropped down into what body of water? Uh, that's 50 50. Need a little help? No. You want 50 50? No. All right, computer, uh, let's ice two of the wrong answers. Okay, let's uh, hope that's either was Atlantic useful. or the Pacific. I'll say the Pacific Ocean, final answer. You're thinking C is styling. Tough. Okay. Tough. Smooth. Yes. Move, you got it. You know, you must be the smartest kid in your class. You've managed to get to the second safe haven of the game, and that million bucks is just five questions away. Let's play. What American war hero said, I have not yet begun to fight?
think it's John Paul Jones. It's a free guest. Final answer. Cool. Is that your final answer? Answer B looks pretty awesome to you. So Got cool it. that you name yeah, your bassist for Led Zeppelin after a war hero. Nice going, you're right. Except the bassist for Led Zeppelin is British. You know, you're a genius. I hope you do this well in your math tests. Let's see if you can keep up the good work with your $125,000 question. Which of these musical instruments belongs to the Brass family? Uh, cornet, final answer. For real? Cornet is, is that a- your final answer? Looks like a bugle or a trumpet. It's definitely not oboe. You're thinking answer C is pretty sweet, it's eh? Definitely not Glockens. It's not Glockenspiel. It's either bassoon or cornet. Hey, you're right. It's cornet. I think you got the college fund started here. That's 125,000 bucks and a chance at a quarter million. Here we go. Which of these women did not win an Olympic figure? Nancy Kerrigan, final answer. Cool, is that your final answer? Going with answer B for sure. Okay. You are wicked right. Two more questions. Hey, this Two isn't just who wants to be a quarter millionaire. You better check out the half million dollar question. Here it comes. Which of these artists was best known for painting scenes for us from small town American life. Let's see if I hope your schmoozing skills are up to speed because the gal we're going to call is a real player. I wonder which studio commissary she's lunching at today. Hi, who's this? Ashley it's is Ashley. Lucas Hoban on the line. <laughs> we need your help answering this question. But sorry, we can't give you the customary 15%. No. no. I'm about to lunch with a very important director. Do you need to get an answer right now? Well, surely you can take a moment to assist us here. Well, all right. Now, I don't know why Mommy signed me up for this. Is it really that much exposure? Here we go. She's not ready, Reach. Um, uh, I don't know. Even of a guess course. would be better than nothing. Look right to me. Come on, we really Hurry. need your answer. Hurry! Oh, so much pressure. This was supposed to be a low-key gig. You're going to run out of time here. Okay, I'll write already. I'll say D. Good enough. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Honestly, calling me with questions I don't know. It's unprofessional. She's saying Jesus. A good idea. What a now, how about you? D. Norman Rockwell, final answer. Is that like totally your final answer? She's blaming Regis it's for these by kind of questions. Well, that's I think she's right, though. It's Norman Rockwell. Smooth move, you got it. You just won a half million dollars. All right. One more question. Finally, the big one, the one got, you've been waiting still for. Got asked the your audience. $1 million dollar question. Take a look. The katana is a weapon most likely used by which of the following? A Japanese samurai. Final answer. For real? Just won a million dollars. And uh, if this is correct, we're going to add an extra $100,000 in bonus right in money for saving a, a lifeline. Nice 
nice going. This is You're the right. same win. Cool deal, same man. deal You're David Patterson in South Africa did. He won the million still with a lifeline left, and that was asked the audience. So he just won $1.1 million, $1,100,000 for Jones still on 874, because we saved the lifeline. Hey, <laughs> speaking of, ask the audience, that crowd control to go, cheat code is you really unlimited lifelines. I'm impressed. Unlimited Before ask the audience lifeline. We present you with a cheat code to use the next time you climb up that money tree. We don't mind helping you out since we know you could do it all on your own if you wanted to. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we'll see you later here at the Den of Games. Be a Den Brother or Sister today. Segment 6 is coming up soon.